If you want to stay focused while working and studying, or even get a better night's sleep, then you need to know about focus modes. What's up guys, this is Shiv, and welcome back to another video. This video is all about a feature that's like a hidden productivity gem in your Apple devices. Apple introduced focus modes with iOS 15 as a tool to enhance your concentration and productivity. And the idea was to keep you fully engaged by filtering out unwanted alerts or notifications at specific times. So in this video, I'll guide you through the ins and outs of Apple focus modes, helping you set it up, use it effectively, and even show you tricks to ensure a peaceful night's sleep. So let's dive straight into it and talk about how to set up focus modes. We'll start in settings and then select focus, which shows four default options. So you've got do not disturb, which pretty much turns off all of your notifications, personal, sleep, and work. And I've added a custom focus mode as well, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. You then got the option to share your focus mode across your devices. So if you select this, then when you activate a focus mode, it will activate across all of your devices. And lastly, the focus status, which lets certain apps share to other people that you have notifications silenced when using a focus mode. If you click on the plus symbol in the top right corner, this lets you add a new focus mode. And you can see that Apple offers a range of default options to choose from. So driving, fitness, gaming, mindfulness, and reading. And they all have slightly different default settings. If you choose custom, you can then name your focus and choose a symbol and color to represent this focus mode, which will be shown in your status bar at the top and on your lock screen. I want to create a focus mode to use while I'm writing scripts, filming and editing. So I'll name this focus studio time. Give it a bright orange color and pick the monitor icon to represent it. And then press next. This then shows you a screen that briefly outlines what you can do with this focus mode. So if you then press customize focus, this brings up options that allow you to customize which notifications you want to allow whilst this focus mode is activated. Choose a different lock screen and home screen to display. Set a schedule for your focus mode, which will turn on automatically at a set time or location, or when using a certain app. And finally, add a focus filter, which lets you customize how your apps and device behave when this focus mode is turned on. So while I'm creating videos, I still want to be reachable by my family. So if I click on people, it lets me choose which people I want to silence notifications from or allow notifications from while my focus mode is on. So in this case, I want to allow notifications from my parents and my brother, although I could add more contacts by pressing the add button. And it says that notifications from everyone else will be silenced and sent to the notification center. Then when I press next, it asks me to choose whose calls to allow. And you can choose from everyone, the people you've just allowed on the previous screen to receive notifications from, your favorites, and contacts only. So I'm happy to proceed with my favorites and press done. So that's people set up. Now we move on to setting up apps notifications, which are similar to people notifications. Again, you can either silence or allow certain apps. So in this case, I'll allow Gmail, phone, Teams, and WhatsApp. And you can add more apps by pressing on the add button here and then press done. Once you've done that, I suggest going back into the people's options and turning on allow repeated calls to make sure that people can reach you if they call in quick succession and going to the app options and turning on time sensitive notifications. You then got some options just below the notification section. So you can choose to show silence notifications on the lock screen instead of in the notification center, which I like to keep turned off. You can hide notification badges on home screen apps, although apps in your allowed notification list will still show their badges. Choose to silence notifications, so incoming calls and notifications are silenced always or only whilst your phone is locked. And finally, dim your lock screen whilst your focus mode is on. You then got this insane feature, which lets you customize your lock screen, home screen, and Apple watch screen automatically when you turn on your focus mode. If I click on the lock screen first, I can choose a new lock screen from the gallery or pick one from my existing lock screens. I like this bright, colorful screen, so I'll pick this one for now and press done. Then if I select the home page, it lets me pick which home page is to display whilst my focus mode is on. I want to create a homepage that I'll use while creating videos. 
So if I swipe up to go home, then swipe to my app library, I can choose the apps that help me create my videos. So I've chosen apps like Reminders, Lightroom, and YouTube Studio. I can then hide this home screen because I don't use it when I'm not creating videos by holding search, pressing on it again, unchecking that home screen, and pressing done. Now, if I go back to focus and settings and press on the home screen, I can then select the video creating home screen I've just made and press done. I can also choose an Apple Watch face to display when the focus mode is on. I like the solar analog face, so I'll choose that. These features are also really great if you're making a fitness focus mode because you can choose to show your fitness and exercise related apps on your home screen and customize your Apple Watch screen to show your heart rate and exercise rings or start a workout. The next feature is the ability to schedule your focus mode. So you can either choose smart activation, which will automatically turn your focus mode on at relevant times throughout the day based on signals like your location and app usage, or you can choose to add a schedule of your own. If I select this, it lets me have my focus mode automatically turn on at certain times of the day, at a certain location, or when I open a certain app. For example, if you want to set up your focus mode to activate when you're at work, then you can either choose a time schedule like 9am to 5pm or a location schedule with your work address. Lastly, you've got the option to add focus filters, which provide an extra level of customization to your focus modes. These filters can be app or system filters. For example, if I click on messages, it lets me receive message notifications from the people I allowed earlier which I think is pretty useful, so I'll turn that on and press add. If I choose to add another filter, you can see the system filters are to turn on and off the always on display, set my display to dark mode, or turn on low power mode, but I think I'll leave these for now. And that's it, my studio time focus mode is set up. So let's move on to using focus modes. To activate a focus mode, just open your control center by swiping down from the top right corner of the screen. You'll see the focus option with do not disturb as the default focus mode. If you long press on this, it then shows you all the focus modes you have set up in your settings. And you can see the studio time focus mode we just set up as well. You also have the option to set up a new focus mode from this screen as well. Pressing on the three dots to the right of a focus mode lets you set that focus for an hour, until this evening, or until you leave your location. Or you can just press the focus mode to activate it. So I'll turn on studio time. Now what that does is activate all the system and device settings that we just set up. So if I go to my home screen, you'll see that it now only shows my video creating homepage and nothing else. And my lock screen has been changed as well. I'll now only receive notifications from the people and apps I've allowed and all other notifications are silenced and will go directly to my notification center. It also shows a studio time label at the bottom of the screen and the icon in the status bar. You can also see that when I turn on my focus mode, it activates across all of my devices, which is really useful. To turn off a focus mode, just swipe to your control center again and press the focus option, which will deactivate the focus mode on all of your devices. Lastly, I'm going to speak about the sleep focus, as this mode is quite different to the others, and Apple has integrated the sleep focus with the health app, so you can set a consistent sleep schedule across your device and make sure you get a good night's rest. This is a feature I use personally and has genuinely helped improve my quality of sleep. So if we go to sleep, you'll see I've set the moon wallpaper as my lock screen when this focus mode is activated. And there is an options button just below that, which lets you toggle whether you want a more simplified lock screen in the night to reduce distractions, and if you want the time to be displayed. You've then got schedule, and the best way to set this up is through the health app which you can access from the link just above the schedule option. This takes you to the sleep section of the health app, which tells you more about sleep, getting a good night's sleep and why it's important. But if we go to full schedule and options, this then lets you fully customize your sleep schedule to fit your needs and timings. You've got options to turn on your sleep schedule and use it for your sleep focus. So I've got both of these turned on and then you can set your sleep schedule below that. So you can see I've set mine up differently for weekdays and weekends. For example, if I press weekdays, the schedule is active from Monday to Friday and you've got this cool way to set your bedtime and wake up time, which also tells you how much sleep you'll be getting. You've then got a few options for the alarm. 
Going back to the earlier screen, the next option is called wind down. And by clicking on this, you can select how many minutes or hours to give yourself to wind down before your scheduled bedtime. And your sleep focus turns on at the beginning of the wind down period to make sure you're able to start relaxing before you go to sleep. So in this case, my bedtime set for 12.30 and my phone will tell me it's time to wind down at 12 o'clock and automatically activate sleep focus. You can then set your sleep goal and options to track time in bed with iPhone, turn on sleep reminders and give you sleep results. Then if you go to your sleep focus mode and settings, all your schedule information is available in the schedule section. That wraps up my guide on setting up and using focus modes on your iPhone. By using these features, you'll be able to create an environment that helps improve your concentration and productivity and gets you a better night's sleep. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on focus modes or any tips of your own in the comments below. And I'll catch you in the next one.